fill that place up all the time, you know? And Julio, the bouncer, you know, he comes up. No, man, come on, get up against the wall, man. What's wrong with you? You know you can't be smoking that stuff in here. And don't be tagging nothing. And if anybody knows Flaco Navaja, who happens to be a friend of mine, he says, please, if you're going to tag... And I wrote this for the police because the poem that I wrote for Amadou Diallo was six pages long, okay? And uh, it's uh, in a book that you have to look for uh, that comes out, I think, in a couple of months. But this one was for the cops. Please do not get offended. If you do get offended, ask yourself why. If I can find it, I'm sorry, I should have gone to it right. D, Deja, a delight in every sense of the word. Oh, you thought I was going to do the cop poem? Nah, not this one. A, always smiling, laughing before your wonder. Once, then we became machinations. We made love once, 
then all the lying started. You told me you would never hurt me as I felt your breath upon his neck while I a million miles away. You said you wouldn't break my heart, but I felt his pieces as you walk hand in hand with him. You said we would be together forever as we signed some contract not to be together. You claimed you loved me as I approached the cliff. As I looked out into the vast distance of canyons, I heard a quiet whisper. It was my ancestors telling me, she is nothing but a liar. Find a new one. I asked my ancestors if I should take a leap of faith. They whispered back, jump, my son, and you will soar with eagles. And I did. I flew into the wind and landed on hope. She is the girl I want to marry. She is my new salvation. She looked into my eyes and asked me, how did you land into my lap? For this I'm grateful. I've only just one wish that you tell me all your troubles become the friend I need. Just one last thing. She asked and I couldn't answer. She begged and I couldn't tell her. Finally I broke down in tears of sorrow. She asked the question, are you a liar? And I simply answered, I don't. <laughs> oh, hey, love is, I really don't know. I thought love was blowing bubbles with my girlfriend when I was eight and she was ten. Love, I thought, was skinny dipping and actually seeing her naked for the first time in between orgasms of childhood. Love, I thought it was seeing her for the first time when she walked up the hill in my Bronx neighborhood but caught me unaware in between the affairs. Love, I thought, is when I first saw hope in the flowers in her hair. Sorry, I imagined her for a moment. Love, actually, for me, was hope. And when she came down the one-way street, Manhattan, love, I thought, was sharing jelly beans and giving each other tongue massages. Love, I thought, was looking into each other's eyes and promising never to say you're sorry. But if you don't apologize, then you will never be able to rectify your stupid behavior. Love is, I really don't know. I want to believe it's holding hands, blowing bubbles in the wind, and naming the bubbles after you. I want to believe that love is a broken heart, a broken love, a wounded heart, a mending heart, a bleeding heart. Most of all, I want to believe that love is you. Love is, I really don't know, but I do know this, that for all the things I don't know what love is, I do know what love is not. I know it is not hurtful. It is not painful. It is not hatred. It is not walking away. It is not abandonment. Oops, sorry, that's divorced. And that, my friends, is another poem. So, what is love? Hell, I don't know. Do you? If you do, write me a poem and send it COD with a ribbon tied around it. Especially the part that says, in love we trust. Ready? There you go. My grand on a date.